for some time I've seen these cheap Chinese amplifiers on eBay and I thought I'd give one a go when one came up that was in my price range and I bought this. This cost me £10 and it's apparently a bloke who got it, took one look at it, decided it wasn't for him and sent it along. So it should be pretty complete. And this is the knob sound tone. Um, I suppose the first thing that strikes me is I want these things to be, you know, educational and informative, high quality videos, but uh, I wouldn't call it knob sound if I was them. I think I'd come up with a better title. Anyway, so let's open it up and see what's inside it. Right, I've opened this box up and you get quite a bit inside it. So, this is the amplifier. Uh, on the top you got on and off switch, you got a volume control, some uh, quite a scratch looking chrome effect there. There's a headphone output, looks like a 3.5mm jack in, a USB in, so I'm guessing there's a, a DAC inside. Around the back you get a power input, some quite good quality speaker terminals and uh, RCA line input. Right, so I've uh, found that you can take off the um, uh, plastic cover of the front and actually now it looks quite, quite good. So, you plug it in and you get a little red dot there to show that it's on. You then press this button and that turns the whole thing on. The volume control also is a mode, so it goes from the 3.5mm jack, the line in, to Bluetooth. And I'll just see if I can connect the Bluetooth a minute. Hang on. Right, I've got the mobile phone, let's turn the Bluetooth on. See, uh, refresh, see if it can find it. Ah, here we are, Duke Audio Tone at the bottom. So let's see if I can pair it. Pair. Right, well it's connected. All right, let's see what other functions we've got. I'm playing my favourite Radio Paradise track and what you get are these sort of view meter effects. Uh, looks like changing the volume changes them a bit. Well that, that, that actually looks, uh, looks not too bad. Now, I wonder what it sounds like. Well, I think that's the next test. So I've plugged the thing in and as you can, as you can see it's working. A couple of things of to note. First is this is a digital volume control, uh, so there's kind of a start and stop to it. Power wise it's on the 9 volt setting but I don't know if you could uh, hear that but that's pretty powerful enough from this small room. Uh, my, my speakers are quite efficient but you know it, it, it gives it a fairly good dose of power. Um, on the back a couple of things I've noticed is that the banana plugs don't go quite in far enough which uh, and they're, 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 they stick out a bit but overall it's not too bad. Um, I've had a couple of uh, listened to a couple of tracks on it and my first impressions are that it's okay. I, I find the sound a bit harsh and I wouldn't want it as I think my uh, my main speaker but I could see it could be you know maybe a you know, a child's bedroom or something, or a teenager's, it would go quite well. Uh, the, it sounds definitely better on Bluetooth, and that may be because it's a bit com more compressed, so it sounds a bit smoother sounding. Um, it's, uh, I'm not quite sure whether it's APTX Bluetooth, it, it doesn't seem to, to say, and I have looked on the internet, so I can't quite find it what flavour Bluetooth it is, but overall, you know, it's, it's not so bad. So there we have it, the knob sound tone. So, so what do I think? Well, I've given it a fairly brief listen. Uh, I think that it's got pros and cons. Okay, the pros are that it's, you know, it's fairly well made. It's got, uh, say, decent binding posts. It's not going to fall apart. It, it certainly looks the part with a nice 
chrome coloured top and, and the VU meters and it's very much a jack of all trades. Now I said I got this for £10 and I think it retails for about £35 for which you get you know, an amplifier that's certainly powerful enough for a, you know, a small room. Uh, you get a DAC, a headphone amplifier, a Bluetooth receiver. It does pretty much all you need. Uh, the cons are, well, uh, you know, it doesn't sound that too great, really. You know, it's f for £10 or even £35, it's fine, but I wouldn't really want it in a hi-fi system. But I could see it being used as maybe a, you know, a, a first amplifier for a teenager's bedroom, or maybe even I could see it, you know, uh, as a sort of a sound bar alternative. Put a couple of speakers on the side of it, TV in, you can Bluetooth stream, background music, I, I could see it being used there. Uh, the other thing I'd change about it is, is the, the name, frankly. You know, knob sound, let's face it, doesn't scream high-end, high quality to you. But, you know, for what it is, well, I, I think it's okay. And, uh, you know, it, in the, if you were to use it, I'd probably want to use it with some fairly smooth sounding speakers, like maybe some, some Q acoustics. That might, might be interesting. So there we are. That's an overview of the knob sound tone. Uh, I hope it's a bit of interest to you. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.